This video explains search space and core set in 5G. This topic is a bit complicated, hence I recommend watching it first with 1.5 times speed, and then second time with normal speed. Search space and core set are used to configure the timing and frequency of PDCCH. PDCCH tells the timing and frequency of the upcoming data traffic. In 4G, first one or two symbols on every slot are reserved for PDCCH scheduling, and base station may or may not schedule PDCCH in these reserved symbols. All other symbols can be used for data transmission. The drawback of this approach is that these symbols can never be used for data transmission even when they are not used for PDCCH. Therefore, 5G introduce is dynamic resource allocation for PDCCH. In 5G, base station defines a set of resources for PDCCH, which is called core cert. PDCCH is always scheduled within a core set, and unused resources within a core set can be utilized for sending data. The timing and frequency of course it is indicated in the parameter structure PDCCH config. This parameter structure is sent from base station to UE via RC messages. Here is an example of a PDCCH config and the corresponding course it allocations. Next, I will explain each of these parameters. The parameter monitoring slot periodicity and offset indicates the slot index of course it. This parameter is a tuple with two values. The first value indicates the periodicity of the corset, that is, after how many slots, the corset resources are repeated. In this example, periodicity is 2, that is corset is repeated on every second slot. The second value in this tuple indicates slot offset within each period. In this example, value 1 indicates corset repeated on slots 1, 3, 5, etc. The timing of corset within a slot is specified by the parameter monitoring symbols within slot. This is a bitmap of 14 bits and each bit corresponds to a symbol within the slot. In this example, fourth bit is 1, which means corset starts at fourth symbol. Now, suppose, if tenth bit is also 1, then it means corset starts at tenth symbol as well. The search space also contains a parameter called control resource set ID, which points to an element in control resource set to add model list with the same ID. In this example, control resource set ID is 7, so UE looks into the object in the list with ID 7. The parameter duration indicates corset duration, which is three symbols in this example. The parameter frequency domain resources indicates the frequency of the corset. This parameter is a bitmap of 45 bits, and each bit corresponds to 6 RBs along frequency dimension. Therefore, a maximum of 270 RBs are supported within a bandwidth part. In this example, only second and third bits are 1, and all the remaining bits are zeros. It means the corset occupies only the second and third sets of RBs, that is 12 RBs. If fifth bit is also one, then corset occupies fifth set of RBs as well. As a final note, PDCCH config can specify multiple corsets also. In that case, there will be additional search spaces and corresponding corset configurations, as illustrated in this example. So, that is all about corset placement in time and frequency grid. Next, I will explain PDCCH placement within the corset. PDCCH occupies the whole duration of the corset, but only a subset of RBs within the corset. UE doesn't know the placement of PDCCH within the corset. Therefore, UE has to blind decode for all possible frequencies within the corset and check if PDCCH is scheduled or not. To reduce the number of blind decoding attempts by the UE, 
The base station indicates the possible sizes of PDCCH resources using some new terminologies. Let me explain those terminologies first. 1RB within a time symbol is called REG. A set of 6 REGs is called CCE. The shape of CCE depends upon the corset duration. Here is how CCEs are structured for two symbols corset durations and for one symbol corset duration. The number of CCEs allocated for PDCCH is called aggregation level, indicated by these parameters sent from base station to UE. These parameters indicate the maximum number of PDCCH for each aggregation level. In this example, aggregation level 1 is 2 which means there can be two PDCCH with size 1 cc each. The aggregation level 4 is 1, so there can be a PDCCH with 4 cc. All other aggregation levels are 0, which means there are no PDCCH with size 2 CCEs, or 8 CCEs, or 16 CCEs. You first search for PDCCH with 1 CCE in the corset. If you can't find a PDCCH with 1 CC, then you search PDCCH with 4 CCs. For frequency diversity, base station interleaves resources within a corset along frequency, just before transmission. For interleaving purpose, a corset is divided into REG bundles with the number of REGs within an REG bundle is indicated by the parameter REG bundle size. In this example, REG bundle size is 3, so there are 3 contiguous REGs within a bundle. Here is another example with REG bundle size 6. REG bundles are interleaved along the frequency, using the parameter interleaver size. With an interleaver size of 2, every second REG bundle is kept together. So, the order of REG bundles become REG bundle 0, 2, 4, etc. If the interleaver size is 3, then REG bundles are ordered as 0, 3, 1, 4, etc. The shift index parameter is used to cyclically shift REG bundles after interleaving. Here is an example where the shift index is set to 1 and another example where it's set to 2. UE has to first undo cyclic shift and interleave operations before blind decoding of PDCCH. What I have explained so far is the scheduling of PDCCH for dedicated signals. PDCCH for common signals are also scheduled in a very similar way. But instead of PDCCH config, the base station sends the parameter structure PDCCH config common, which has a very similar structure. For example, the parameter paging search space specifies search space ID of paging signal, and the corresponding structure contains the information about corset allocation in a very similar way as already explained for dedicated signals. I won't go into more details of it in this video. I hope this video helps you to get a basic intuition about PDCCH scheduling using search space and corset. For the sake of simplicity, I have omitted many details here. Please go through the references listed in the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.